With health care at a crossroads in our country and drug costs sky high, there's a real battle to fund research and find new treatments to help people with autism. Rochester researchers are leading the way. As part of our series for Autism Awareness Month, Rebecca LeClaire can show us how researchers are using video games to get results. Thanks, Deanna. You know, this is fascinating stuff, getting attention around the world. Dr. Lawrence Sugarman is all about getting teens to help themselves deal with the challenges of being on the spectrum. And he's using the new technology to talk their language. Being a normal person. Yeah. Every two weeks, Dr. Lawrence Sugarman rigs up Andrew Rosner at this computer. See how it's raising your sweat gland activity? He's been teaching the 19 year old biofeedback techniques through video games to control his anxiety. You got to turn on the computer screen in your head. While Andrew watches his heart rate and breathing on one screen, he can focus on Dr. Sugarman's techniques. Go ahead and just let your eyes close for a moment. And when everything is under control, he can get back to the video game. As long as you're breathing with your heart rate so beautifully, the spacecraft keeps flying. To change their state and control emotion and decrease repetitive behaviors with no medicine feels pretty good. The Adventures of the Stress Destroyer, Volume 6. These aren't your ordinary video games. They were created by students in gaming development at RIT, who understand the autism spectrum. RIT is, has all these innovative learning opportunities and ways to add technology to education that make it a perfect place. And it's worked, combining the games and techniques to reach these teens. First of all, it's not social. It's computer-based. It's structured. It's predictable. The linchpin was realizing that what we could promote with this computer interaction is helping kids change their autonomic nervous system. Andrew's mother says Dr. Sugarman's treatments are making a difference. The amount of coping skills that he has developed are just astounding. With the science behind what he's doing, matched up with the gamers at RIT to help him develop a practical, fun way um, for kids and teens to learn these skills, uh, it just couldn't be any better. Dr. Lawrence Sugarman sees patients at the Easter Seals office in Henrietta. I've linked up information about that and the RIT CAPS program all at WHEC.com under web links. Now, the doctor is also helping to teach parents these techniques, and there's a six week class at Autism Up. The information on that is also on our website under this story. Rebecca LeClaire, News 10 NBC. That is